Hello everyone and welcome back to Pixie Dust and Parenting. If you are new here, hi, I'm Allison. We are a two-mom family with two little girls and we love all things Disney. We do DIYs, tips, tricks, all those fun things, vlogs, hauls. Basically, if it's Disney related, we're doing it. So if that sounds like something that would interest you, please consider subscribing because I would love to see you back here. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you have that notification bell turned on so you know every time I upload a new video. But let's get started in today's video. As I just gave you that entire spiel, I am actually doing some Valentine's Day DIYs. They will have hints of Disney and I will give recommendations on how to make things Disney, but they're not all going to be completely Disney DIYs. And as always, all my supplies are going to come from the Dollar Tree for the most part. I think there's a couple of things but basically it's either stuff that you have in your own home or it's things that you can get at the Dollar Tree but without further ado let's get into these Valentine's Day DIYs This is by far the easiest project out of all the ones we're doing. Obviously, I just took a papyrus leftover card from my daughter's birthday that someone had sent her, and it had such a beautiful artwork on the front. It's Minnie Mouse and little, like, sweethearts. It's a birthday card, but I was able to repurpose it for Valentine's Day decor. I just thought it was so pretty, but you could do this with any card. I just cut off the side put on glue dots and then use that Dollar Tree shadow box type thing to put the card in. The card fit perfectly. You could measure your cards, find one similar at the Dollar Tree. You could paint this if you wanted it to be a different color, but I just think it's such a versatile, easy project. What if I'd make a scene? Wouldn't that make you mine again? You're all I'll ever need. Didn't I make you laugh? Didn't I make you smile? Did not make you feel like you were happy for a while I know that I've done so many things to let you down But I hope that you give me one chance to make you mine When I close, close my eyes You know that you're the only thing I see And it makes, makes me cry a project that I've actually shown on my Instagram many times so if you're not already following me over there make sure you follow me at Pixie Dust and Parenting but you basically just take two or three different Dollar Tree signs and you glue them together <laughs> it's that easy but the end result to me is really amazing so I just filled in that glue you'll see me fill these um, dots in fill those glue dots in um, sorry with hot glue and then it'll stick to that other sign so you don't have to remeasure it and then turn it over and you literally just glue a piece of cardboard or a poster board or whatever you have in your house just hang it around um, to secure it and to stabilize it and that's it and you're gonna see how it's stylized I do this for every season I have done a winter one I've done a Halloween one this one is St. Patty's Day, but you are going to see the Valentine's Day one here in just a minute. What if I said I'm sorry? What if I said I'm sorry? What if I make a scene? Wouldn't that make you mine again? All I ever need. Didn't I make you laugh? Didn't I make you smile? So this is going over my fireplace so I ended up measuring my mantle because it's going to end up making like a cute little Valentine's Day banner. So I measured my mantle and then I measured my string. I did double it. You could probably triple or even quadruple this if you wanted to and make it into a larger project. But you're going to see I am going to actually really struggle with trying to get these things connected. I <laughs> second guessed against cutting and I'm glad I didn't. But you'll see I double this and then I start gluing these sides or at least trying to, but the jute twine was really hard to glue together. So I grabbed some ribbon and ended up fastening the sides by using the ribbon and that ended up being a much easier way to getting this jute twine to stick together. 
and I'm just gonna make this really pretty banner. I'm gonna glue the um, little wood hearts that you saw there, and then I'm gonna glue the letters in between, and you're gonna see the little Disney flare. Of course, you can keep it just on its own, but you know, I wanted to add a little Mickey Mouse, <laughs> so I added little Mickey ears to the O. You'll see me do that, but I'm just gonna turn on the music and let you guys watch. And if you have any questions about any of these projects, you can leave it in the comments below. I'm obviously not doing a talk through of step by step, and hopefully you can catch everything I did. But if you didn't, just leave me a comment. You should be the perfect lover. You should be the closest friend. I didn't want no other, but this man has got a hand. final project it is four of these canvases I think they're 8 by 10 I'll make sure to list every supply for all of the projects down in the description box below but basically you're gonna get four of these and treat them like panels and glue them together now what I found to be the easiest was to actually flip it over and glue it that way and then you're gonna just want to get some cardboard to stabilize the entire thing and you're just gonna glue the four panels together super easy I've lost all my chances I know that I am too late I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you wondering if you're thinking about me too now it's too late now it's too late I'm out of time, but I'm still thinking of you. My heart keeps on bleeding. I have scars, the ones that healing. They're all there because of you. Now, I didn't show the decorations that I used, but this is a super versatile project. You can basically use any assortment of different 
decorations. I used some window clings. I used just some like separate glittery hearts. All of this stuff I found at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I wasn't really sure, so I kind of just arranged it. I definitely knew I wanted to use those two cute flamingos in love, but everything else was just kind of up in the air. And you will see the final project at the end. Of course, you can do this any way that you want and for any season. Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late I know it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still thinking of you Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. What was your favorite uh, DIY that we did today? Yeah, that's what I want to know from you. What is your favorite DIY that we did today? And if you aren't already following our social media pages, please make sure to follow us over on Instagram and TikTok. All those things are linked down below. And also, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend some time with me. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given me in this channel. We are almost at four years. Like, I can't even believe that. Is that even right? Like, that doesn't even feel right, but it is. We are almost four years into this channel, and I'm just so grateful, especially over the last year, and how we were able to grow together. And I hope that you guys are enjoying this, and that you're finding that this has a little piece of happiness in your own life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.